that piece originated from, um, I was talking with uh, Frank Four, uh, editor of the New Republic, and we were uh, talking, and um, the uh, Huckabee's uh, ascendance in the, in the um, polls uh, was fueled a lot by his image um, in the national press as a genial, uh, fun-loving, guitar-playing uh, governor. Um, you know, he was famous for, you know, running a marathon and losing all this weight. And most, most people, if you ask them on the street, the general sense would be that this is a, you know, pretty easygoing guy, um, which contrasted with uh, his reputation and, and uh, legacy as governor um, in the 1990s in Arkansas. You know, the Arkansas press corps um, uh, had long experience feuding with him and, uh, and really seeing the other side of his temper. And so, um, the piece just originated from, you know, seeing um, his portrait as a national figure compared with his, uh, his reputation as a, as a local politician and just sort of seeing the dis disparity there and uh, trying to fill, fill in the gaps a little bit between his, his national image um, and his local one. It was a pretty straightforward process. I mean, a lot of it was talking to reporters who covered him. and. Uh, it's, an, it's it, the other dynamic of the story that's interesting is that um, when you have reporters who know someone so well and they've covered him for years as a local candidate and a local official, um, that uh, they oftentimes know him um, on, on a much different level than the National Press Corps who, who sort of parachutes in um, once he's um, become um, a, a viable contender. And so, um, you know, so these guys down in Arkansas were just scratching their heads because, you know, the guy that they were reading about on the cover of the New York Times Magazine or cover of Newsweek was not the governor that they knew from Arkansas. So I think um, a lot of it was that they were just happy to talk about the governor that they knew. Um, and uh, and these, these private letters were, were a pretty uh, humorous example of, uh, of his temper. The letters were um, written to... Um, a newspaper editor named Max Brantley, um, and they were um, they were distinguished for their um, their attention to detail. And uh, Huckabee really wanted Brantley to know that he didn't leave um, you know any any stone unturned in, in his animosity for him. And uh, and you just the funny thing is you realize that you would one would think that a, a, a governor um, a state governor would be busy enough that he really wouldn't sweat uh, the small stuff and the minutia that are uh, that sometimes um, happens in, in in the press's coverage of him but he uh, he just had a whole litany of grudges against Brantley that he uh, expounded on in these letters you know they uh, I hounded them um, and as the piece was closing um, his spokeswoman issued a statement um, that uh, that was unrepentant and uh, Huckabee. It was funny because you know it was one of the few times as a national candidate he flashed some of his temper um, from from his Arkansas days. And they basically their point was that these were just some disgruntled Arkansas reporters who were trying to interject themselves into the process. Uh -huh.